talking about this um, idea of identity is so important to me because, um, you know, the fact that I'm in ministry at all is truly statistically Im improbable. Um, I, I meet so many people in ministry who grew up in the church and, you know, they're fifth, sixth generation pastors and and that just wasn't the case for me. Um, the first time I stepped foot in a church, I was 11 years old. And for the people who were so gracious in welcoming me, they didn't know that uh, when I walked in those doors, I was a suicide attempt survivor. I tried when I was nine years old. I tried again when I was 11. And the reason for that was um, I grew up in a situation where there was just a tremendous amount of dysfunction. My mother told me many times that she didn't want to have me. She told me I was a burden. Um, there was never uh, just anything good uh, that was said about me. As a matter of fact, um, the, the things that her boyfriend did in an abusive fashion toward me, she blamed me for them. And so, you know, I didn't have any sense of worth or value. And I, as a result, felt like ending my life was a good idea. And so it wasn't until I actually came into uh, understand the, the gospel. I remember the first time I heard it, it was so confusing to me because number one, I didn't have a concept of God, but number two, what I was told is that God loved me, uh, that God loved me endlessly. And I didn't understand that. That wasn't part of my um, understanding of, of who I was. And so uh, that really changed my entire life in such a foundational way, because I realized that no matter what my mother said, no matter uh, how she felt I, I, I wasn't supposed to be here, God had intended for me to be here. God intended uh, that I was necessary for creation. And uh, once I discovered, I, I want to read it because it's so important to me. When I discovered Jeremiah 1, uh, verse 5, very familiar scripture, but I love it in the Amplified Translation. It says, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you and approved of you as my chosen instrument. And before you were born, I consecrated you to myself as my own. So before yeah. I was even a, a twinkle in my mother's eye, when she didn't even want to have me, God had already determined that I was necessary for his work and for his purpose. He had already approved of me. And I think that's what changed my entire concept of who I was. That's when my identity finally mm -hmm. became rooted um, in who I was created to be. Hi everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe today and you'll never miss a new upload. Thanks for being a part of our Better Together community.